Hi there, it's Terry from TLC Dog Grooming, and I wanted to talk about the curly coated dogs. Um, this is Reese, and she's a doodle. And we get a lot of challenges with dog owners and their doodles and their cockapoos and anything poodle cross, okay? Anything that's got a really curly coat. So a couple of weeks ago, we had to shave Archie, our doodle, and someone wrote in and said, well, what happened to the doodle? Like, why did he have to get shaved so short? So I wanted to show what goes on that people aren't aware of. So think of each of these curls as a finger, okay? So take your index finger or your middle finger and cross it over your index finger and your ring finger and cross it over your, end, uh, your middle finger and your pinky finger, right? Everything cross it over like that. And then your thumb, that makes a fist, okay? That's a mat, your fist is the mat. So what happens here same, this is the, to try and give you a visual of it, okay? So this curl, this curl, and this curl, they'll all wind around each other and clump together. So your job with your curly coated dogs is to get your brush in there, okay? And you have to separate all those fingers, okay? You gotta separate them so that they don't make a fist. So you don't want your dog curly like this all the time. When it's curly like this all the time, you know you got to get in there and you got to do some work with your brush and your comb, okay? You want it all separated. So in Archie's case specifically, he wears a sweater, so the friction of the sweater, between the sweater, the hair, and the, and the body, back and forth, back and forth, okay? Just let your foot off the gas just a little bit in your brushing and your combing and you're gonna get these mats, okay? So it's gonna take a little bit of work to get through this. I kind of am not brushing her properly, but for the camera's sake so that people can see, okay? So when I go through with my comb, I know that I'm good and I can move on to the next, to the next spot. See, normally when you're doing this, you're gonna be standing and looking at the side that you're working on. I'm doing it this way so that folks can see, okay? But and you, can you hear that sound? Okay, that's the tines of the brush pulling through those fingers, those tightly wind fingers of hair that are clumped together, about to create massive matting, okay? That's that pulling through. So when you don't hear that sound anymore, you know that you've gotten through. You've gotten everything separated. Okay. Then you follow up with your metal comb. See, you know, if I take my metal comb through here, oh, it goes through not too bad, but it gets snagged, okay? It gets snagged. So you know you're in trouble. That's why you gotta get in with your brush and separate, <clears throat> separate those hairs, okay? Whoop. And they don't like it on the front legs very much, see? Now the comb goes through. I'm doing this totally backwards, but I want you to have a good visual, okay? So the problem areas always are behind the ears, in the toes, elbows, armpits, chest, neck, flank, because this leg comes forward and creates a lot of friction in there, okay? So all this is all twining around and it's about to be a bit of a disaster. So she's got her in just in the nick of time because by me getting this clean, okay, and blowing it out, putting some product on it, I'm gonna get all these little hairs separated so I can get my brush underneath of it. The base of the tail is usually a problem too because hers is really something because she's got a tail that comes right up over her rump and curls back around. She's kind of like a little pug tail almost. But when this tail is wagging, that friction on the back side and the top of the tail, like this is a right here, is a fist of mat. Okay? So, yeah. To the lady out in the interwebs that asks, what happened to that doodle? Tell me more about that doodle. That's what happened. And we're trying to avoid that with Reese here. And we will, we will, we will be successful with it because it's she's in just in the nick of time. If she'd have gone a couple of more weeks without bumping up on her brushing and her combing, 
Reese would have been in trouble here, okay? And we might have had to take her shorter. She's quite matted down in here in the feet, and you're gonna get that when you go out and you get mucky, dirty feet, wet feet, and you come in and you get your towel and you dry the feet, you create that friction. So if you haven't gone in with a brush and comb and brushed it out thoroughly, okay? Again, I'm doing this totally backwards. If the camera wasn't on, I would be standing on that side. Okay? <clears throat> if you don't go in with your brush and comb after you've washed and dried feet from being out running about in the muck, you're gonna get matted feet. You're gonna get matted toes. In between each toe gets matted, okay? I brush up a lot because I like to brush from the skin out, but I also brush down, okay? And notice how I hold the brush differently in my hand, right? I'm, it's my tool that I move it around a lot to what's comfortable for what part of the body I'm working on. What's up, girl? Okay, so that doesn't go through, so I know I've got more work to do, okay? And I can't really effectively do it when I'm standing, I'm looking over the dog. It's, can you just, thank you, thank you, ma'am. Oh, all right. Right, <clears throat> this comb's not going through. So I know I've got more work to do in this area. Okay, gotta get busy with Reese. Thanks, if you've got questions about your curly coated dog, let us know in the comments and uh, we'll do a video or a blog post for you. Have a great day, everybody.